20 years for downloading DeepSeek. Today, we're going to check out some of the important topics, especially related to open source downloaded models. And I'm going to draw some distinctions that a lot of other YouTubers out there that are maybe doing a little bit of uh, hype baiting about the difference between apps and locally hosted AI. They are very, very different concepts, and they are very important to have a very firm kind of grasp on when you're talking about things like 20 years in jail. YouTube there was using AI to provide me with recommendations for commentary about AI causing problems for us. That's like the world we live in now, so that's kind of fascinating. Of course, I've had a lot of comments and uh, some funny ones also. While we're doing this, I'm also going to uh, swat down another piece of conjecture that people have been launching, which is uh, DeepSeek phones home. Uh, okay, so number two app as far as productivity, DeepSeek. Of course, these apps phone home. That does present a data security uh, potential to be exposed. I sidestep that myself, and I recommend most people sidestep that by doing something called locally hosting your LLMs. I use Olama and Open Web UI. Olama, a nice, easy way to get started. And of course, the interface that we're using here, Open Web UI, is able to give you a kind of clean uh, user interface experience for it. We are going to check out the locally hosted version, which I've already done, but I'll do it again for you guys. Uh, if you check over here, you can see. We've got our connections to the IP address. This is the machine that is running our DeepSeek locally hosted, which I showed you how to do in a recent video. So uh, we'll send it a uh, hi here. Check the connections that are coming out. And you can see here, so let me hit Control C really quick on this. So it's already responded. And you can see the IP address. So Network Chuck actually did this really recently. He did it in a more Windowsy way. I'm going to do it in a more Linuxy way here. But the foreign address that we're seeing, you see these four local host calls. So these are internal calls to the container. You see the 172s that creates an internal Docker network. And if you followed along with the prior guide, you saw that we installed this inside Docker on bare metal on this particular machine. So if you see the final address there, that's the 192.168.1.234. That is this machine that I'm recording and running on right now. That's that address. So you can see that we didn't fire off anything to China when we did that. We got the response back at 4.16 tokens per second. 7.43 prompt tokens per second, and that was a four second response time. So let's ask it something else that's kind of important. A lot of people have uh, got a little bit of a misconception about what an LLM is. So um, let's ask it, what is the date today? LLMs do not have knowledge of what the time is unless you explicitly give them manifolds or pipes to be able to communicate with the system and be able to interface and get the date time in that fashion, which you can do. They're not natively network connected unless you actually give them access to it. So a LLM itself, you could think of it possibly like a compression algorithm that is incredibly efficient. Like it can't understand what time it is. So if it was like programmed to, somebody made a comment, can it be programmed to like explode at a certain time as malware? Not to my knowledge, because it doesn't know what time it is either. And it doesn't actually have the ability to connect and establish a connection to the network unless you explicitly give it one, which I haven't done here either. So it can't receive that command in the future. Now, what is this all about though? Why, why is this a concern in the first place? So there's a proposal to ban DeepSeek. Of course, government devices, I have no idea why people are installing DeepSeek the app, again, from the app store, DeepSeek the app on government devices. That's easily blocked at like a firewall level also from a departmental kind of standpoint. So that shouldn't be a big issue to can, like your employees should know if you, you're a federal worker, if you're a state level worker, if you're a government employee whatsoever, don't install the DeepSeek app. Like, of course, that should be common sense. So definitely they're looking at clamping down on that at state levels, municipal levels, and the federal level. The Navy apparently had some issues. And we see overblown legislation about this proposing fines of up to a million dollars and 20 years in jail time. And that's what the beginning intro of this video was all about. And that's being proposed right now by Josh Hawley, who is a senator from Missouri, and I would urge you to actually go read the legislation. The big thing about this, it would essentially provide criminal penalties for downloading an LLM. Yes, that is right, it would. Now, I've gotta say, don't think that me as a YouTuber out here is alone right now in hosting and having downloaded this. Microsoft is running an endpoint with DeepSeek that they host locally. 
uh, abacus.ai, Hyperbolic. Uh, I mean, there's tons of different companies out here that are providing access, even huge companies that are providing access to hosted instances of DeepSeek. This would put 180 days, if this were to be passed as legislation, you would have 180 days to delete it. And of course, in the instance that this, if this were to become law, let's make this not become law, this would be one of the things that you would definitely want to, you know, follow the laws of your governing judicial area. So of course, this legislation would have a really chilling impact on the ability of open source researchers to be able to get and understand information. And what exactly am I talking about? So the Chinese company that created uh, this actually open sourced the math that they used to do GRPO, which has worked out very well in this instance, and others are being able to replicate this with great success for incredibly low dollar amounts, like $12 and $3 and stuff like that. It's crazy. This makes things significantly more efficient. This is, in my opinion, an overreaction to technology that is very, very good that luckily the Chinese did open source. And that actually is important because they didn't have to. They could have had something that was a superior technology that they kept closed to them and that they just used for their own benefit. And if we see legislation like this coming down and being passed, well, I think that there's a pretty good chance that we could actually see that that is reciprocated. That could be bad for open source AI research. This is a pretty big leap forward that we've had. However, let me also say AI moves at an incredible clip. And so in the next six months, 180 days or whatever that has been proposed here, we will see numerous new models adopting. We already see new models that are coming out and being redone to adopt this. This leads to token efficiency on the inference side as well. Something I've noticed, if you run the DeepSeek 671, that is the real from the DeepSeek to architecture, it significantly outperforms on the inference side what you're going to see from the Quinn or Llama distills of it. Pretty interesting. So these kind of revolutionary leaps being open sourced, of course, benefit the wider community. Now, who would be interested in clamping down on that? In my opinion, one of the best people to give us a take on this, and somebody who has some actually pretty interesting things that they talked about in regard to who was meant to be in control of the US AI industry is Mark Anderson. But the reality is the secrets are out. These secrets also are just math, and these secrets are now known by everybody. Everyone knows how to code a transformer, how to R RLHF, how to use reinforcement learning for reasoning. There will be thousands of open source implementations in addition to DeepSeek and Llama. There is no putting this back in the box. Exactly, there is no putting this back in the box. And the attempts to do so are counter to the productivity that we need to actually get towards AGI. Let me be the person that also says garage AGI as well as general AGI and certainly ASI are a really long way off. I honestly feel, this is my take, the ASI in general in the AI arms race winner take all narrative is basically a really good fear-based way to capture attention, to motivate people and to get them to agree with you. Fear is an amazing motivator. Do always question those who use fear to sell you on ideas and ideals that they may have their own motivations, especially in cases like this. If you haven't taken a chance, follow me at GoSpaceport on X also. But yeah, you know, there's no putting this back in the bag. They open source the math. It's out there. Others are using it and they'll advance it and hopefully they open source it back up. As well, of course, we've got Hugging Face with their amazing team implementing this, coming up with Open R1, a fully open source reproduction of DeepSeek R1. So as I was saying, we've got new innovations that are coming off of this innovation happening right now. We'll see these models coming out probably pretty soon. You can bet this channel We'll be checking that out. So make sure you hit like and subscribe and also drop your comment below and let me know what you think. Are you going to jail for 20 years? Are you gonna be fined a million dollars? I don't know, it's pretty interesting times. But I would say there's a lot of room right now to do something about it. So we've got uh, Jeff Gerling who made a really good viral video on it, uh, Deep Seek R1 on a Raspberry Pi, uh, OpenAI's nightmare. So <laughs> a Raspberry Pi running uh, OpenAI chat GPT level of inference uh, probably is uh, what uh, certain people at OpenAI would not like to see because that would be a commoditization of normal cheap hardware. You got to understand these big cloud providers also have 
insane businesses that are really lucrative selling your data to other people. Like that's, that's something you should not let escape you. Also, of course, Dave's Garage did a really good video covering this and like that these people you should definitely follow along. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, Network Chuck has done a video. He covered the same kind of net stat, but I think he used something uh, based in Windows to do it. He was using a PowerShell thing. So take a couple of minutes, contact your house and your Senate person in your local area. You can find the link below to the us.gov uh, lookup that'll give you their contact information. Even if you leave a message, even if you talk to one of their staffers, uh, they usually have a tally and they put that tally together and present that to the senator or to the house member later on. Now, I am also saying form your own opinions. I'm not going to tell you how to think. There's a lot of people on YouTube that do that. Uh, did other countries stop researching nuclear weapons, for instance, when the United States was first? No. If China was first and they were like, we got ASI, would, we, would the United States be like, oh, throw our hands up? No, we're done. No, of course not. Does, uh, all these other countries in the world, you out there in other countries in the world, are your countries going to just stop looking for this information? No, of course not. Like, that's not the way the world really works. And ASI is essentially in the doomish scenario that people present, which is essentially, it's an all for one race to ASI. ASI will consume resources and expand throughout the universe. I think that is a lot of science fiction. I mean, the meaning of the universe could be 42, though. It really could. I could be wrong, but I do look forward to chatting with you down below on that topic as well. So everybody have a great rest of your day and 180 days if this passes, it's still in committee at the Senate. So we're looking at a fairly long process. Good time for you to call your representatives, hit them up on X publicly. They can't hide from that and hit them up on X or if you are on X, hit them up publicly. Make sure that they understand your position on this. Man, open source is getting good. Like capability set, check. On par with what you've got from closed source, we're getting really, really close. That's another check. And this channel is gonna try to keep you up to date with all of that stuff. So everybody have a great one. I will check you out, you out next time. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Laters.